Hello everyone, Thomas the Tankman 111 here, and today I wanted to talk to you about how I created my HO slash OO gauge Henry the Green engine. This all came to be when in late 2021, a modeler called Danny Lovett, also known as Lovett Junction, announced he would be departing from modeling Thomas the Tank Engine characters, and would be selling his current models. I decided to take this opportunity to buy Thomas, Bill, Ben and Henry from him. However, for Henry, there was no tender. When Henry arrived, I was simply amazed at how good he looked. The body had been 3D printed from the LBSC Thomas's designs. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't just use the Bachman Henry tender, as this is simply too small and needs to be extended to match the show. There was a 3D file by Kudak 888, but I was worried the proportions would be incorrect for my current model. I decided that scratch building the tender would be the best option. I already owned a Barkman Henry tender from the one in my previous videos, and I decided this would be a great base plate to begin the modelling. During my visit to America on the Busted Buffers trip in summer 2022, Brendan Reese 10 and I began the work on the tender, cutting small amounts of plastic card to raise the height of the tender. Once the proportions were correct, we applied putty to the surrounding areas and then sanded that off to give it a smooth finish. We repeated this stage about two to three times so the added plastic card didn't look so jarring to the eye. Finally, we primed the tender with Tamiya Spray Grey Surface Primer. When I returned home, I could begin the painting process. As I already had the main body of the engine painted in green, I had to ask Danny what colour was used for the Henry. This resulted in me purchasing Tamiya Spray Park Green, which I personally feel really has that season 4, maybe 5 look. The tender and wheels received a couple of sprays to give it the correct finish. A lot of masking had to be done during this process of time, and the black on the tender was hand painted using some acrylics. For the buffer beams, I used Tamiya Red X7 acrylic paint, and hand painted this on using masking tape on the green. Eventually came the most daunting challenge, which was the lining. Initially, the train modeler sent me some sticker decals of the number three and lining which he achieved on his Cricut printer. The number three wasn't much of an issue, and I applied this very simply, using measurements on the tender to find the center point. However, when it came to the line in decals, something just looked off. The decals just seemed to be warping and it made it very hard to keep everything in place. Instead, I used some basic red trim tape and decided to freehand the lining. When it came to the curves, I cut the old decals, which the train modeler had printed, and used them. Henry was nearing completion, but I had one small issue. The tender space from the main body was too distant. I created a new rod to hold the tender in place using some metal rods from previous projects and glued this to Henry. Finally, I added some buffers and a clear coat of Plastic Coat 24,000 spray paint gloss to give the tender that glossy finish to match the body. Finally, Henry was done. There is the water pump that I need to add to the back and I am currently working on making something for that in the future. But for the time being, I'm extremely happy with my Henry model, and I look forward to sharing him with you in future stories. Hooray! said Peter Sam. He felt very relieved. Not bad, youngster, said Henry loftily. But the refreshment lady was still cross. What do you mean by leaving me behind? I'm sorry, refreshment lady, replied Peter Sam. But Henry said he might leave without us. You silly engine, Henry was teasing you. He wouldn't have gone without our passengers. He's a guaranteed connection. Well, said Peter Sam, where's that Henry? But Henry had chortled away. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to like, subscribe, and even leave a comment. It really does help. This is Thomas the Tank Man 111 signing off, and I'll see you in the next video.